Uh, I'm back with the final video of uh, Esper HANA migration. Today we're going to talk about the uh, some tool on the target sy system. So this is going to be the final uh, part of this migration. And we're going to um, learn uh, also uh, post upgrade, pre uh, post upgrade, uh, you know, uh, procedures, how to execute uh, different key codes to complete the post upgrade activities in uh, Esperhana migration after complete, uh, you know, successful migration from ECC to Esperhana. So let us start. So what activities we are going to execute on the target server are mentioned here. Migration actions on target uh, host ASCS is uh, uh, the first uh, activity and then some pre-processing migration activities, some uh, uh, pre-processing phases in target system, some execution, some post-processing, manual uh, post-processing, enable CUCUA and uh, rev track and language supplementation. So first of all, we need to actually, um, you know, log into the ser target server and make sure the sum uh, FS is currently, you know, mounted from the source system. What does that mean is like uh, wh whenever we, uh, um, you know, uh, execute something from uh, any location it should be accessible accessible for other uh, you know locations as well that's what we we, we need to uh, make the, our uh, learn or what, what we say can add mode to point um, it should be mounted so you can see the lens here user sap dg2 hdb client uh, slash sap nst so uh, these mod points uh, wherever we have kept our dump should be mounted so uh, then what we need to check is to check the physical memory free and free is uh, CPU free. Replace uh, the AIX kernel Linux with the Linux kernel because uh, our source system was Linux. So we need to replace it with the, uh, you know, uh, as per the target operating system. Uh, obviously, if it is a HANA, so Linux will be there as a operating system. So we need to replace, uh, you know, our kernel as well. So it depends on your source and target system. If you are already on the Linux, so uh, you, you, you only need to kernel upgrade. So um, replace the sum ABAP exe with the kernel exe, Linux exe. So these are the commands. We know that MV is the command to move and the CP is to copy. And then uh, we need to go to the sum user, uh, use some uh, SID, some ABAP, then LS, Minus L is a command to see all the our folder system. So uh, then replace all some executables in the bin SAP ABAP. And then replace uh, JVM with the Linux JVM, some JVM. So JVM is a Java virtual machine. You all know that Java virtual machine to run our, uh, you know, executables. Check if uh, SAP control is working fine. So you can just go to the directory and uh, execute the command dot slash sum start config host agent is to uh, get the, uh, you know, uh, links of our, uh, or we can say URLs for executing uh, this sum. So these are the commands actually, Chowner, these are to change the drag, these uh, authorizations for your folders. So you can give whatever triple seven five or triple 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 double seven five or triple seven whatever as per your requirement. So um, I already have uh, done this. So we just uh, executed the command dot slash some start config host agent, then I got this link. So uh, when you are, uh, you know, ready for, uh, to execute this command after changing all the directory structures and uh, giving the permissions correctly, then you can execute. Then definitely you should get this uh, your URLs. So uh, as per your port, if whatever port is available. So you, 11.29 is, uh, I think, a default for everyone. So you can try with this one and uh, on internet pro anywhere in internet browser or the google chrome so, so after executing this you will get uh, you know some on the target system 
So just uh, give the your host name. It should be a target host name and then uh, SID. So migration action target pass whatever you have. Then you go to the uh, register some by connecting the as a root root user. So I think uh, I'm still on this uh, to uh, add what what user you use. Uh, so I just uh, want to skip this portion because this is the this is uh, not this is uh, before you uh, get the URL. So this this portion is uh, actually I have duplicated this here. So you don't have to worry about that. Like uh, what this portion is all about. Like uh, before executing uh, before uh, getting the some URL. So that's why I just took uh, this screenshot register some by connect connecting as a root user. So I forgot it to mention, uh, you know, in uh, my previous screenshot. So after doing this, uh, then you will get uh, some uh, URL and then uh, you have to execute it from the internet browser. Then you will get uh, your um, um, uh, page and then you have to go to uh, this pre-processing and then give the target server and the, your instance number and then uh, your target server instance number that you need to replace a data migration call it, uh, initi uh, initialization then uh, your um, password for your uh, SID ADM um, should be there like uh, with you and then uh, your um, this uh, it will be like uh, uh, asking for your multi-tenant DB creation so it should you should choose the recreate the existing tenant so tenant creation um, repairs so that that's what you have to mention here then uh, target DB schema you should be mention your target schema then uh, choose the uh, your per, uh, your uh, path like uh, for uh, download directory where the uh, our the dumps are when dumps have been kept so should you should uh, give the path here then this is the schema uh, password so schema pass system password so you you should mention your uh, system user password here then schema password. Then execution phase in the target system is uh, uh, it, it has entered in the execution phase. So I actually there this is due to the there was an error actually due to that error actually uh, this uh, screen is, is has appeared. So what what do you need if you say this was a solution to remove the unique uh, index index uh, statement? So you can go to the DB two. Uh, uh, this uh, 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 studio and then uh, go to the SQL statement and uh, select this command SQL from uh, uh, this is the SQL command where you can just like select from SAP uh, schema and then give the command wire TB name and whatever uh, as per your database so you just run this command and then uh, you can remove the schema uh, this index and then um, Actually, last when I did it was for the I got a, a duplicate table in the shadow system and then I just deleted it from uh, with the help of as I mentioned earlier with the help of uh, Hana administrator, Hana DB administrator. So it was the, the then after if everything goes smoothly, then uh, your execution phase will end here. Then you can see the end of downtime. So uh, then uh, your system will restart and then it will be uh, ready for the post, post post processing. So here we start as here, here uh, after complete of this. Uh, 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 after complete of the execution phase, so we need to start the post processing. Backup of the backup is mandatory. Take the backup of your server and then uh, check uh, the parameter. So you login start is automatic start user star user SAP star. So you can change it as per your requirement. 
And then uh, we need to change the transport uh, TMS system, transport management system, where we need to change the uh, STMS uh, parameters. So you can see that uh, system uh, we, we, as per the system target host, we need to change target host. And then uh, uh, say here it is target host is this. Then as per your uh, target host, you need to change the connection to the digital target host is OK. Then distribute uh, TMS system, like distribute your transport uh, management system transport routes so also you need to go to the sc38 and just check the ABAP consistency checks and then uh, you, sh you should get this uh, uh, message no errors reported also we need to go to the updates and check sm12 and sm13 whatever uh, locks and updates uh, you want to check and you you need to go to that uh, t code and check those uh, you know lock entries uh, lists if there is any lock or something and also we can go to the db02 and check uh, uh, our database hana database and uh, check the status of the system and uh, if uh, we uh, feel anything uh, is uh, you know in the error or warning is there so we, we can get those uh, details here on db02 and this is for the license check you can go to the s license and uh, check the s license as per your uh you know for system availability what do you have you should you should see the green lights over there so that means uh, your license are okay and then we you, then the final thing uh, uh not the uh, last and not least is like uh, you go to the start the sgen go to check the sgen start uh, select the components software components on the sgen and then uh, start the uh, you know uh, register after uh, SAP system upgrade, choose this step, and then start the load as, as gen, a generator. So you will see uh, in the meantime that uh, your job has finished. So maintain the login the autopsy groups. So you can go to the uh, uh, you know CUA and then uh, choose your uh, central administration distribution model and uh, select your landscape and then um, you can configure maintain landscape uh, as per your CUA and RFCs, and uh, you will see the display logs here. All the system users locked, or you can just uh, check all everything from display logs. And uh, also, you need to execute the program uh, to re uh, retract, uh, activate uh, RSMD, RSMODR, DPRF. So uh, you will see the both. Uh, inactive inactive mode so you can just choose select the field and click on activate so this is all about the uh, you know um, uh, reactivating and reactivating uh, reactivating of your program then uh, we need of uh, go to uh, actually uh, language language supplementation so you can go to the you know uh, language you can select the source system parameter you can see that the zca install language is equal to edp ed fps1 you can see that from that uh, you know uh, parameter you can see all the languages are displayed select this special go to triple uh, zero client and go to the language select as spatial actions import support packages and then uh, uh, import languages in background then you will see uh, uh, after some time uh, job uh, sap learn ocs uh, successfully uh, schedule and uh, in the meantime you will see the your supplement languages and uh, uh, all, all the log you will see here and then uh, you, you you need to choose here you need to select here French whatever uh, this language is you, you see here is mentioned so you can see the imported uh, support packages here so that is that's all uh, about this uh, migration so still you need a lot of uh, you know uh, workforce to guide you in the particular direction, you also need to go to the SAP, uh, you know, guides for migration. 
So this was all about to create, uh, you know, uh, some idea in, uh, in uh, because there are some lear new learners in SAP. So this was all about the ad to create an idea for the new lear lear learners and all the P SAP consultants actually who uh, doesn't, uh, you know, had a chance to migrate ECC to S4 HANA. So uh, this was all about, uh, you know, in all these three uh, parts, I tried to, uh, you know, uh, uh, include each and everything, but it's not uh, it's not each and everything what you you uh, you need to do. But there are a lot more you need to do. You need to go to the SAP uh, notes and also SAP guides and to make your business successful my, as a as a migration. And also you need uh, consultants to uh, um, you know go through with your uh, requirement and uh, also you need to talk to the senior. Uh, consultants uh, before uh, you know uh, starting your migration so that that's all about uh, the migration this has ended the migration of uh, ECC to S4 HANA and uh, now uh, the next is uh, a migration from uh, uh, Workday the third party tool it's a third party tool Workday and to SAP success factors but the migration uh, method is a totally different it will be select is a transition uh, this selection of a transit uh, tr this uh, selection of the particular data in the form of csv files and <laughs> to the cloud connector that's all for today thank you thanks for watching